Good morning everybody. Looks like it's day one getting the M600 birds set up. This is the room I'm going to use. Here's the first Matrice right here. And here's the second M600. And here's a pair of Ronin MXs. I'm probably not going to set these up today. The other facet of today's chores will be setting up the iPads. We got one here and one here. Because we're dealing with two drones, the first thing I'm going to do is label these one and two. We also have a bevy of uh, propellers and batteries. All right, phase one is going to be to pull the bird out of the box, of course, and charge up the batteries. Get the firmwares down, understand what's going on with the bird, how to fly. Notice the red indicator here. So here she is in all her glory. Ladies and gentlemen, the Matrice M600 Pro. And here's our remote control and some tubes. Let's get started. Now we have another layer in this box. Here, let's pull these out. Landing tubes, landing tubes. So here's the landing gear. Now we have another layer and notice we got one of these red arrows again. And here are the batteries. TB47S and the hub charger. All right, first things first, where's the AC cable for this baby? Let's see if we can't find it. So here's our IEC AC input. And then this has two small ports here for charging the remote controls. So here's the cable that's used for charging the remote control. The smaller barrel goes into the uh, charging unit and the larger barrel plugs into the remote. Setting up the charging station is pretty straightforward. The IEC cable plugs into the side here. You can hear the fans kick on and it's going to probably run through post. Plugging in the batteries is uh, pretty easy and intuitive. The caveat is you gotta have a level space for the battery and the chargers. So I usually bring a piece of wood with me out into the field. As you can see, these ports, they recess. And you just stick the battery on the recess port. Now it's pretty easy to see the battery's level. Just push the button once and it will indicate what the level is. Each one of these represents 25%. If this first one is solid, that's 25%. If this one is blinking, it's halfway between 50% and 25%. So you see that blinking light there. That tells us this battery is between 25 and 50% charged. Traditional smart chargers charge one battery at a time. However, this monster charges all six batteries at once. Like the batteries, to see the battery level in the remote control, you just tap the button once and it'll tell you. Each light represents 25%, so since the third light is blinking, we know we're charged somewhere between 50 and 75%. And now, we'll add the remote control cable. Plugging in the barrel cable straight forward. Once it's plugged in, you'll see it's charging. You'll notice that the LEDs run sequentially during the charge period. Under a full load, this charger pulls 5.26 amps. As you can see, the batteries are elevated off the ground, so the flat surface you need only needs to encompass the charger. All right, at this point, it's time to assemble the legs. I think first I'm gonna flip some legs out. All right, let's uh, flip the bird over. Looks like there are covers here. These are uh, protective covers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-install these springs for you guys so that you don't have to mess with them. Getting them on and off is kind of persnickety. Something I wouldn't want to do in the field, that's for sure. There we go. So installation of the landing gear is uh, pretty straightforward. It's got a little notch in it. The notch goes to the outside of the bird 
and it's held in place with O-rings. So you just kind of twist it down and you see the little lines here. As soon as the little lines are flush with the flange, you know that the uh, landing gear is fully inserted. The next step is to hook up the spring. It's got this little plastic dealie right here and you just lift and hook and that's it. And finally the third step is to hook up this bottom leg which has this uh, wing nut on here and the bottom leg just goes on here so as soon as those markings are flush you know you've installed it all the way so you just twist it a little and it's notched and you tighten up the little nut down here and you're good to go. So I came up with a procedure for uh, assembling the bird here that I think works pretty good. First you put the T on, then open and lock the legs. Alright, so now the legs are taller than the motors are, so I'm going to tilt a little bit. We're going to remove the cap, the protective cap, and then we're just going to gently twist and push until that arm locks into place. It doesn't really snap in, it's held in with an O-ring. The little red mark goes towards the outside. Now, I'm going to lift the bird up onto that arm. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, you have to take the little spring and that hooks onto the leg pretty easily. And same with the other side. Once the landing gear is installed, uh, you can raise the antennas, they just snap into place, they click out and click in. Click out, click in. Click out, click in. This is the kind of stuff you definitely do not want to encounter in the field. So naturally now I'm going to check all of the nuts, bolts and screws, make sure they're all tight. Once the landing gear is down and secure, then you can secure the uh, motor arms in place. So it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Pull the arm up and, and lock it. It clicks positively in place. You do that with all of them. Click it in place and click into place. All right, it's time to fire up the beast. According to all the documentation I've read, it's okay to fire it up with the uh, propellers bound and the masts down. That's actually how they want you to upgrade the firmware. I only need to fire up one battery and it will tell the others to power up. Boy, that's loud. Okay, so I'm getting an error message. Not activated, so it has to be activated through the Assistance 2 software. As you can see, the good news is green light means we are connected to the beast and the blinking green light at the bottom means it's got satellites, so that's good. All right, looks like it's time to activate. All right, see the bird installing the software. Ah, I hate that noise, it's really loud. All right, time to start the activation. All right, registering the warranty. This is why I make the big bucks. This stuff is never straightforward. So we've got a green light on the uh, controller and in the uh, ground station app, it says Map uh, Matrice 600 Pro. So everything looks good so far. It's acquiring satellites right now. Okay, we've got 13 satellites. As soon as we get 16, we'll take off. Okay, so you can see in the GS Pro app, here's the bird. So we've got uh, battery telemetry information, GPS information, so we're good. So I get distance information and I get orientation information. So we're good to go. All right, gonna launch. All right, 
right, so at this point, firmware became a real freaking issue. I downloaded the Assistant 2 software. I got an error message that the registration failed. Retry. That's it. So after trying for hours and hours and getting nowhere, I contacted some uh, DJI support personnel here in America, not DJI corporate, not DJI chat, not DJI phone support, but actual friends that I have here in the United States that work for DJI. And one of them turned me on to another version of the Assistant 2 program, a beta version apparently that hasn't been released yet. I downloaded that, installed it on my laptop, and then I was able to register and activate my M600s. Up to that point, the other Assistant 2 software available to the public didn't work. Tell me when you're ready to do that. Yeah. Hey everybody, okay, so we're out here. We're gonna start up the M600 for the first time. I calibrated the IMUs and we did a compass calibration and uh, we're gonna fire up the bird and hopefully she'll fly today. I think she will. Power up the battery, you double hit it, you tap it once and then you hold it. All right, so the IMU is initialized and uh, we've got, looks like 16, no, we got 14 satellites, so we're good. All right, let's stand back and let's launch. hover for a minute just to make sure if there's going to be any kind of issues I want it to happen at low altitude. I'm also going to bring her down a little bit to test the landing gear to make sure the landing gear deploys. stable and it's actually fairly quiet too. I'm pretty impressed. The landing gear deploys as it should. So everything seems to be working really well. Now there's not much wind 
So it's, it's not really a good wind test, but this bird is known for its stability. It's flying very well. All right, so I would consider that a success. We've got full telemetry, everything's working the way it should. I'm, uh, I'm very pleased. So I'm gonna fly a little more. We've got 67% uh, battery left. So let's do a little more flying. some figure eights. Good. I would consider that a successful test flight. 